We've also been updating the ag aggregate data entry form. So we know this is another area that people do a lot of customizations in their aggregate um, data entry forms. So we're bringing some of the configurations into the settings so that you don't have to go to a full custom app if you want to make some minor changes, making it a lot faster and a lot easier to tailor your data collection for your context and for your, your elements without having to create an entirely new app or entirely new forms. So there's now in each section form, there's now an option to pivot the category rows and data elements if you'd like. So we've got an example here. It might be a bit small to look, but I can, I can pull it up. Um, so if you select for a certain section that you want to pivot the data elements and categories, it will switch which ones are in the um, columns with which ones are in the rows. So sometimes if you have a lot of choices, it can um, be really powerful to change the orientation of this to make it easier for the data collectors. And I know a lot of people do this custom, but now you can do it straight out of the configuration. Um, and the other thing we've added, which again is, is something that people do a lot for custom forms, is just the ability to, to add text before or after sections. So if you want to add some instructions um, or some explanation, you can just now go into the section editing form and, um, and just add the text directly. Um, in the interest of time, I think I'll, I'll, that demo takes a little while, so I'll, I'll move over that. 